Welcome to the Sports Scouting Report Podcast with Lee Brickeen. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm Lee Burkeen, your host. We've got a great guest today. We never really talk a lot about eight-man football, and I don't think people in the state have really talked about it much. Our magazine covers it, the football magazine, Louisiana Football. We preview all the MAIS teams and all the eight-man football teams. There's some really good football teams and football players in eight-man football, and that's what I want to do today. We have one of the top players in all of eight-man football in Louisiana, out of Lake Providence, Louisiana, Briarfield High School, Carter Couillard. Carter, thanks for uh, calling in, man. Yes, sir. Good morning. Very happy to be here. And look, I want to let everybody know, this show will be heard on Friday, but you have a playoff game tonight, which is Thursday, and we're recording this in the morning. But tell everybody, first of all, you got a big game. Uh, it's a championship championship game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Tell everybody about this opponent because it's not a Louisiana team because there's Mississippi teams and, 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 and Louisiana teams. Tell everybody how that kind of works because y'all play a mix of both during the season. Yes, sir. So the league we're in, um, MS, MSAIS is a combination of teams from Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Um, the team we're playing today is from way up in Arkansas, a team called the Soto Academy. Uh, they're a good opponent. We're uh, ready to go. And what do you think about scouting and watching film? They, uh, I mean, y'all, y'all. We're going to talk about you and your team. Y'all have got some big guys on your team, and you're one of them. I mean, you're six four, all of six four, about two sixty, and you can run. I mean, you play tackle, but you would be a tight end if you were probably at a three A school, yes, two A one school. But you're doing O line, and you only have three O linemen, and and then you play D line, and you. You don't even leave the field, but this team that you're going to play, do they have the size that your team has, or are they more of a quicker type team? They're very explosive. They've uh, they got a really quick running back and a, a fast quarterback. Um, I think our line should be able to dominate today, um, as we have all year, but it uh, should be a fun one. I mean, I've seen all your games because we're doing your highlight tape, and when we get it out, I think it's going to be phenomenal. That The teams are going to say, man, we didn't know this guy was there, you know? <laughs> yes, and, sir. And, I mean, you – I'm, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm, I'm going to say this to the listeners, and I'm not just saying this because we're going to promote you and get your highlight tape out, but if you played at any high school in Louisiana, you would be recruited heavily, and it, it, and you'd, be, you'd still be a sleeper, but in the end, all that matters is where you go. And I think you're going to have a chance to go to some really good schools. And, and I, I, here's what I think you could be in college – you remind me of a guy named Stephen Peterman that went to LSU about 20 years ago. He was from St. Stanislaus in Mississippi. Yes, sir. And they were a small 2A school. He was 6'4", 260, just like you, and ran about a 4'8". And he went to an LSU camp as a tight end and a DN. And Coach Saban said, you're an offensive guard. You want to play in the NFL? And he's like, no, I'm a tight end DN. I ain't no offensive guard. And <laughs> – Peterman ended up being all SEC two years playing in the NFL five years. That's awesome. As wow. A, as an offensive guard, he got it like up to about three, 300, but like not fat, you know, just a big guy. And that's how I look at you. you you've, you're you very lean, strong for 260, and you move very well. And when I'm going to tell you, when you do come with a rush on the defensive line, I mean, these guys that you play can't block you, and uh, I'm sure that's going to be – the goal for you tonight is because you don't get any rest. You don't get to leave the field. You play O line and you go back and play D line. That's right. Um, we don't have a whole lot of you know, depth on our team. We're only having around twenty two players on the whole uh, whole team. So I would go from defense to offense to kickoff to kick return to punt. You know, it's it's never ending, but uh, I love it. You know, it keeps you in incredible shape and lets you experience both sides of football, and it's great. I love it. We're gonna take a quick break. Uh, Carter, don't go anywhere. We're going to have more of Carter uh, Coulard from Briarfield Academy, eight-man football team in Lake Providence, Louisiana. He's a senior, class of 222. He's one of the top prospects in the state. He was on the cover of our magazine this past summer. We'll be right back in just a moment. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. 
tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You listen to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Brickeen. Our guest today is Carter Cuyor. Carter is uh, 6'4", 260, plays O-line, D-line at Briarfield Academy in Lake Providence in North Louisiana, and I think he's one of the diamond in the roughs for this season. His highlight tape is going to explode with a lot of these schools. And Carter, getting back to your team, I want to promote some of you. I don't want to leave your teammates out. Uh, but you've got some good players. Nick Hale's a big kid that plays on your team. He's grown a lot, 6'3", what, 270? Um, yes, sir. He plays OD line with you, and he does a good job. I think he could play college somewhere. Noah Payne, I think he's a really good lineman. I mean, he's, what, 5'9", about 250, 245. He's a tough kid. Um, Landon Webb's a heck of an athlete for your team at receiver and DB. Uh, Noah Womack, you know, you've got just – or Owen Arledge, your brother, who's only a sophomore at receiver, is a pretty good player. And there's, yes, se- there's several other kids. Uh, the, the running back that's a senior, uh, talk about number 21, uh, Romarian Johnson. He's also a really good linebacker. But what do you think of the senior group? It's a special group for eight-man football, right, Carr? It, it is. We, uh, we started this year as you know, a band of brothers. We've been together for almost since third grade playing football. And, have been uh, big contributors to the past past teams in the past few seasons. So uh, this year we kind of took the reins as leaders and put everybody to work, and here we are. What do you think you head coach Bo Travis? I mean, the job he's done, this is his uh, fifth year as head coach at Briarfield. And, I mean, it's not easy uh, in eight-man football because everybody's kind of similar in talent. But what do you think of the job he's done uh, over the last five years? I love him. Um, I can't say enough about him. You know, he, he treats every player like a, like a son. Um, he loves every one of us, but he's, of course, hard on us. And it's uh, through his hard work and for your mind that got us here. We're going to take another quick break when we come back. We're going to brag on this Briarfield Academy program because their 2020 record was 11-0. and They were 11-0 and state champions. Uh, and we'll talk about some of the teams they play. And, Card, I'll get your, your – uh, your feelings on some of the top programs you like to play every year in, in eight-man football out of Tensaw Academy and some of the other teams that y'all play Claiborne and some other play teams. We'll be right back. If you need a paint job or repairs to your vehicle, go see Medine's Collision Center located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Kincaid Avenue. The number to call is 357-7983. That's 357-7983. Your Baton Rouge Accident Advisors. Welcome back. You listen to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkean. Our guest today, I think, is one of the best lineman prospects in Louisiana, Carter Couillard, who I think is D1. I think you're D1, man. I don't think you're just one double A or an unknown. I I think you could be a D1 player. And I had a chance to talk to your mom and your dad, but your mom is a huge LSU fan, which I think. uh, She is. She is. When I mentioned the word LSU, man, she was like, man, I, I would like to see Carter go there. What, how do you feel about LSU? Um, growing up in LSU, family my whole life. Uh, I love them. Um, it would be a dream come true to play for them, or anywhere for that matter. You know, they need kids like you uh, because regardless of the record, you are you're, you love the school. You're not saying, well, they had a bad year. I don't want to go there. You know, it, but there are a lot of kids that, like you said, they want to go there regardless and get things back to normal there. And uh, yes, sir. What do you think of LSU uh, getting a new coach? Uh, supposedly, it's going to be a big time coach pretty soon. I don't know. I think it'll be a, a big name and a, a big deal. Um, I'm eager to see who they end up going with, and hopefully, it's the best of the program. All right. So you run under a five flat forty. Which is impressive for 260, 265 at 6'4. You're built like you bench 500 pounds. I mean, in the weight room, you just have that physique where you're just, you know, you look like a big Mike linebacker, like a Joey Bosa, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, sir. And so, I mean, that's what you got. You got a lot going for you to add good weight and not lose any speed. Uh, does, is there anybody you pattern your game after watching football? Because we're going to get to baseball, but. What do you since you've loved football a little more now? You were baseball, but now you're loving the football. But what do you, is anybody that sticks out that you like to watch? Um, as you just mentioned, both of the the both the brothers, I absolutely love their game, and um, all they do is incredible. 
So baseball was your first love, I believe, talking to your parents. And then football, for a little while, and, yes, sir. But I think football has always been football has always been number one for me. And now it's stronger, huh? Now that time is going yes, on. sir. Uh, what do you grew from a yeah, yeah. It grew was, from a love to a to a passion, and uh, couldn't couldn't go without it. We're gonna take another quick break, Carter. When we come back, I want to talk about some of your opponents. Think of two teams you love to play more than anybody every year. And we'll be right back. We're listen. You listen to the Sports Scouting Report. Our guest is Carter Couillard, defensive end. I think tight end, offensive guard for college from Briarfield Academy in Lake Providence, Louisiana. We'll be right back. Be sure to take your car and truck for all your tire needs to Treads and Care Tire Company located in Central. The number to call is 331-8144. Family owned and operated since 1971. That's Treads and Care Tire Company. Welcome back. You listen to the Sports Scouting Report. I am your host, Lee Burkeen. Our guest is Carter Couillard, who is a big-time prospect. You don't hear about eight-man football. What do you think about us promoting eight-man football today statewide? I love it. Um, there's a big stigma around eight-man football that it's not real football. So it helps let people know that we're here and we're playing. You know, LSU signed a running back years ago. I don't know if you remember this, but Stephen Ridley, you remember the running back, Stephen Ridley? I do. Yes, sir. He was an eight-man football player out of Mississippi, out of, I think, Cathedral, out of Natchez. I go to uh, Trinity High School. Trinity, Trinity. That's right. You got me, man. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm impressed <laughs> that you knew that, man. But, yeah, I mean, he played in the NFL, what, seven years, uh, was a three-year starter at LSU at running back. And that will give you an idea of the talent that can come out of the uh, the league. Uh, there's been several players go to Tennessee and Ole Miss, Mississippi State, that have been starters. Uh, Will Overstreet was one, I remember, that came out of Mississippi. Um and he started at Tennessee, was an All-American, played in the NFL for a while, big DN. You remind me of him, too. Y'all had the same build and, and game. Um, but y'all play some good teams, Prairie View Academy, Tensaw Academy. I mean, you know, there's the Glenn Brooks out there that every now and then y'all play every other year or so. Um, Tallulah Academy, Union Christian Academy, you know, Northeast Baptist, you know, Riverdale. Always good. And then you got South Louisiana, Silliman, and Oak Forest, and some other ones in some different districts. But what do you think of the the competition, Carter? And who do you think is the toughest team to play every year? In my opinion, the toughest team to play every year is always um, Tallulah Academy. They're you know, about 30 minutes down the road from us, and it's a big rivalry. Um, we played them in the state championship game last year after beating them previously in the season. It was a tough one. Uh, we pulled it out, but it's, it's – it's always fun playing them. You know what I like, too, about watching the game? I mean, everybody's going both sides of the ball, like both teams. And so, if you're playing O-line, D-line, the guy that you went against on O-line, you know, he's now an O-lineman. I mean, it's like y'all never leave. Yeah. You're playing the same guy twice, you know, in a game. Uh, is there a player that sticks out to you that – that you think is a, another underrated player in the league that is, you know, made you like really work on your game to really bring it. Um, I think all three of Riverdale's linemen. We played them in the semifinals last week. They've been the best line we've played all year. Um, those guys went to battle. We had a fun time against them. Yeah, that was a good game. You know, I'll watch that game. They got some good players. Uh, you're right. And there's some big, tall guys. I mean, there's some big athletic guys. And I'm, you know what shocks me? There's a lot of good quarterbacks in the league. Yes, sir. I mean, they can they can, they can, can spin the football. Even the quarterback for your team, who's a sophomore, can spin it. What do you think of him? I'm glad he came. He um, came from Oak Grove Academy, or Oak Grove Public School, um, about week four. We're happy to have him. Yeah, I saw him throw a – 45, 50 yard pass in the air. It's pretty impressive for a sophomore. Yes, sir. He's uh, got a cannon. I've seen you bat some balls down uh, going after the quarterback, and I've seen you actually return a kickoff. Might be the biggest, <laughs> biggest, biggest guy returning kickoffs in the state. You actually did pretty good on that. I think you had like a 30 yard return. You remember that one? I do. I do. Um, dragging a few people with me as well. But that was a good, good thing to remember from this season. I, that was fun. All right, so I got I got to mention this. I don't know if you keep tabs on it, probably not, but going through all your games and stuff, I counted like 65 pancakes. 
Really? Yeah. Might be almost 70. I mean, you know, just taking a pancake is when you completely take somebody to the ground, you know, and, and in other times you, you just sit on them or stand on them. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy the, the amount of pancakes that you had on O-line and pushing people back and putting them, pancaking them as a D-lineman. Uh, and uh, the one thing I would love to see, man, I, I, do y'all have any plays? I know there's not that many, but maybe that – I don't know if they can afford to put you at tight end, huh, because you got to be one of the three O-linemen. We ran, we ran one play in week four, the Riverdale game. Um, towards the end of the game, we were down a touchdown and threw me a pass, maybe a you know, 40, 50 yard completion. But that was really about the only uh, opportunity I've had to get the ball this year. I've got that one. I, I got that play. Yeah. But that's, that's why I was asking because I think uh, I like that you're a team player and you're playing that O line. And what is it like to be an O line of just three guys? I mean, people that watch football are used to six players. But that's tough, man, just having three guys on the O-line. It is. It's uh, a lot of coordination with each other and uh, being vocal and, and talking, you know, uh, picking on blitzes with, with three guys. You know, maybe you get a, a tight end or a running back help every now and then. Uh, a lot of times it's just us. Uh, so these, these three senior linemen we have who got a lot of experience and you know, great friends with each other, it helps. It helps a lot. We're going to take one more break, Carter, and bring you back for one more segment. Is that okay? Absolutely. All right. Well, we're going to take a break. We'll come back with more of Carter Couillard, offensive guard, I think, tight end for college, plays OD line at Briarfield Academy in Lake Providence, Louisiana. Eight-man football. They're going to play their state championship game. Hope they win that game, and uh, and that'll be two in a row if if that happens. Three, three in a row. Three in a row. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Yes, sir. Coach, don't be mad at me, but, yeah, three in a row. That's That's not <laughs> – Easy to do, but we'll be right back with more of the Sports Scouting Report. Come and visit the majestic mansion in the marsh, Grove Savon Waterfowl and Wildlife Lodge. Grove Savon is the true sportsman's paradise. Grove Savon Lodge has everything for you from fresh and saltwater fishing, our gear hunting, waterfowl hunting, and eco tours. Located south of Lake Charles, call 337 337- Five nine eight two three five seven, or visit www.grovesavon.com for more information and schedule your trip to the majestic mansion in the marsh, Grove Savon, Waterfowl and Wildlife Lodge, the true sportsman's paradise today. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. Our guest today is Carter Couillard calling in from Briarfield Academy. I think one of the top prospects you haven't heard about, you will really soon. And uh, we'll be getting you tape out in a couple of weeks uh, to all the colleges in the country. But, Carter, uh, I'm glad you said three. I mean, you were a starter now on all three state championship games, right? This will be three, your third one. Yes, sir. Um, Got a good bit of playing time as a freshman. But, uh, we moved, me and the other three linemen moved into the starting role uh, our sophomore year. We made it to the state championship game and won that year. And last year's a junior, sports one again, and trying to do the same again tonight. All right, so if you could think of three colleges, I know you like LSU a lot, but if you had three other colleges that you like, who would those other three be without any order? Um... <laughs> I'd have to say University of Lafayette, McNeese, and ULM. Um, three teams that are you know, in Louisiana and close to home and close with programs that I'll, I'll follow closely and keep up with. All right, so you're from North Louisiana, and LSU plays ULM Saturday. So I got to ask you this. What do you think about that game? What do you think of what Terry Bowden's doing for ULM? They've, they've beaten some good teams this year. They have. I think he's uh, – Definitely help and turn around the horrors of last season. But uh, I don't know if it's going to go the same way again tonight against the Tigers. Or tomorrow against the Tigers. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be a good game because ULM beat Troy. They beat uh, Liberty with Hugh Freeze. I mean, Liberty's uh, got a good program. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's – that's going to be a good – more. it's going to be a closer game than what people think because LSU's got a lot of injuries too. 
Uh, yes, sir, sure. And in Louisiana Tech's having a tough year, huh, with Coach Holtz. You're not as much of a Tech fan as you are ULM, huh? Correct. Uh, and then what do you think of Tulane? Um, I, I, I like Tulane. It's a cool school. Never really you know, visited much, but uh, I heard good things about it. Yeah, you just probably probably take a visit. You probably have you ever been to Tulane? I've not. Okay. All right. And then, what do you think the game will be like against A and M? Do you want to predict as a fan? Do you think LSU can beat A and M the final game? Yes, sir. I think I'll probably pick the upset and pick LSU to win that. There you go. Um, man. Not, high five. Not, yeah. not by five. Yeah. Uh, I think the fans here just loved what you just said. The LSU fans are going to go crazy just when a recruit says, LSU's going to beat A&M. And I think they can. I think they can beat them. I uh, do too. So any final thoughts? I know you got to get ready because you all have to travel for a, a state championship game. And uh, I don't want to keep you too much longer, but tell Coach, uh, thank him for allowing you to do this while you're at school. And I know you all got to get on buses and you all got to get ready. I'm sure you all got to go eat pretty soon and – uh, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but we'll be talking to you soon. And, Carter, uh, best of luck, and I uh, hope y'all can get that, that third ring in a row, man, three years in a row. Is just, yes, sir. Uh, but any final thoughts that you'd like to say to anybody listening or any coaches? Um, just like to say that I think my work ethic is what puts me ahead of a lot of other recruits. Um, so coming from an eight-man school in a small school, uh, instilled a work ethic in me that I think is and calls me out drive a lot of other competitions. And I want to say one other thing to brag on you. You have a four O GPA. Yes, sir. Which, work uh work hard to get it. Four O GPA and a, a thirty two A C T. I wanted you to bring that out because that's very, very golden. That's that's really phenomenal. Um and I could thank make, you, thank you. I couldn't make a thirty two if I studied for seventeen years. Um, <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, thirty two is amazing, uh, and that that gets you anywhere. You could probably get a scholarship just on academics uh, alone uh, for college. Yes, sir. But Carter, good luck to you. Don't hang up yet. I'm going to end the show. Go to lafootballmagazine.com if you want to get a magazine. Actually, Briarfield is previewed in the preview magazine with all his teammates uh, from the senior unit, like Nick Hale, Noah Payne, a lot of the guys on the team that are seniors. Uh, some juniors that are in it. But, yeah, you know, go to LAFootballMagazine.com, and we will see you next week. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brookings.